<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, if you are still on those dating apps, in my humble opinion, you should seriously consider deleting them. Now, a long time ago, I actually did a video covering when the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, actually sued Match.Inc, which is the parent company for a lot of dating apps, essentially for fraud, because a lot of the female profiles ended up being fake. They were bots. And once you signed on to those dating apps, it was hard as hell to get rid of them. Now we've done various stories over the years about how men got catfished, how men got set up, and unfortunately, how some men lost their lives. Now, there was an article recently about a football player who got catfished and he ended up beating the guy who catfished him to death with his bare hands. Gentlemen, I have to sadly report another man who lost his life due to catfishing. Now, this article was published on the 21st of June. Man lured to home on dating app is killed in baseball bat ambush, Indiana police say. An Indiana man thought he was going to meet a woman he spoke with online, but instead walked into a trap that cost him his life police said. When Lafayette man, Willie Smith, 55, arrived at the floral home Wednesday, the woman was waiting inside for him. A young man, 22-year-old Tyrone Leftridge, was also waiting. WLFI reported, hiding with a baseball bat, Flora police said. Leftridge had been impersonating the woman on a dating app called Meet Me, police said, and lured Smith to the home by promising to have sex with him for $80, WLFI reported. See, if there was a legal brothel that this man could have went to, it would not have cost him his life. Investigators believe Smith withdrew $120 from an ATM in Lafayette based on a receipt found at the scene, according to the outlet. The woman told Smith that she wasn't going to have sex with him and Leftridge rushed out from a nearby garage and hit Smith with a baseball bat, WXIN reported. The woman ran away, but saw Leftridge later on with money, a wallet, and a cell phone. Willie was discovered in the house with head injuries, according to the outlet, and was taken to a hospital. He died Friday, according to the Flora Police Department. Leftridge admitted to police that the plan was to rob Willie, but claimed that some other man attacked him. But in a phone call the next day between Leftridge and another inmate, he says he hit Willie because the man had a knife. The TV station reported. The woman told police 
She never saw Willie holding a knife or carrying any weapons. And when she declined to have sex with him, he wasn't rude and he didn't touch her, the outlet reported. Leftridge was arrested Wednesday on charges of robbery resulting in serious bodily injury and aggravated battery, according to police. His bond was set at $500,000. Additional charges are likely pending the result of Smith's autopsy scheduled earlier this week at the Marion County Coroner's Office, Florida Police said in a statement. This is sad. This is outright sad. But gentlemen, I have a question for you. What is the one thing that was completely conveniently left out of this article? I'm not going to say it. Put it in the comment section below. But gentlemen, especially in this particular time period, I would highly, highly advise against meeting someone from off a dating app. You just don't know what you're getting into. And I'm going to reiterate what I said and double down on it. This man is 55 years old, or he was 55 years old. He just wanted a little bit of action, but if there was a legal brothel set up, then he could have went and got his desired met that way. But oh no, oh no. And gentlemen, it seems that there's going to be more states actually trying to decriminalize prostitution only for the woman. Remember, they want to decriminalize it for women to sell it, but they still want to keep it illegal for men to buy it, which is outright stupid. But you got to have a way to entrap men and to imprison men to keep the prison state going. Just saying. But yeah, I find it also ironic. The video of the pop-up, you know, strip club in the park Nobody got arrested. But as we all see, desperation is really starting to kick in. As the moratoriums expire, expect more degenerate female behavior to be put on Front Street. Expect it. Oh, and it seems that California is trying to play another symbolic play here by offering to quote unquote, pay off all of the rent accrued, hopefully I said that correct, accrued, excuse me, all the rent accrued during the pandemic. They're saying, oh, we're gonna pay it all off. I would love to see how. Yeah, that article was put out yesterday, but too little, too late. But. Anyway, gentlemen, delete those dating apps. If you have one, I will say, you know what? Just get rid of it because I'm going to reiterate this. You simply do not know who is on the other end who is messaging you. It could be a catfish. It could be a setup for robbery. So better safe than sorry. And with that being said, ladies, the power will eventually go out. And at the end of this month, it's about to go out for a lot of you. <laughs> and I feel no sympathy. Why? You signed a lease you chose of your own free will to not pay the rent. So therefore, um, yeah, there's no amount of feminism that's going to save you now. It is what it is. 
that's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.